Well, from starring in iCarly to becoming a STEM advocate, actress Miranda Cosgrove is excited to be involved with a new project that's coming to Philadelphia's Police Touch Museum. And Miranda joins us live now with more. It's so great to see Miranda. My children, my son was a big fan of Drake and Josh. My daughter loved watching iCarly, so it's kind of a, a, a nice treat for me to see you here. But why don't we start off by explaining, Miranda, why STEM, why science, technology, engineering, and mathematics? What interests you? Um, well, ever since I was a kid, I've just been super into science. I also host a show on CBS called Mission Unstoppable, and it's all about showcasing different women in the STEM field. So from being a part of that show, I've been really inspired, and I've been able to meet a lot of um, women each week that are in STEM, and it's, it's just really awesome and inspiring. Tell us exactly what families will see when they go to the Police Touch Museum this summer. Yes, so I'm so excited to be working with USAA. They're coming up on their 100th year anniversary, and they've created this traveling exhibit called Fort Innovate, and it's going all around the United States. It's going to park in different children's museum parking lots. It's totally free for kids and their families, and you go in and you get to really have like a hands-on science experience. Um, so I just think it's going to be amazing. I hope that it um, inspires kids and it teaches them uh, all about innovative thinking and it's an awesome thing to get to be a part of. I'm really happy to get to do it. And you're the right person to do it because, you know, a lot of these younger girls were even younger when they started watching you, particularly with iCarly. And now, you know, they see you truly as a role model. And I was just wondering, I remember watching a lot of these episodes of iCarly with my daughter because it was on the TV all the time. And it was it predated social media just by a couple of years. But it offered a very positive sense of how to communicate with people on the Internet through vlogging, uh, for one thing. And I don't know if you maybe have kind of a reaction to how you presented this positive way. And in, in, in so many ways, unfortunately, social media can be such a negative experience for children. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, with the Internet, there are a lot of positives and negatives, but um, it was kind of ahead of its time, uh, the show, because when I was little and I started the show when I was 13, people didn't have YouTube channels or um, webcasts or any of the stuff that everybody has now. So um, at the time, we were kind of just trying to figure out what that would even be. And now, you know, it's become such a huge part of the world. Um, so it's fun getting to revisit iCarly now with the with the reboot and um, kind of see what that's like 10 years later. Um, please tell us when the exhibit comes to town, but I also wanted your thoughts on one thing. We keep seeing test scores come back and we see American children are sc scoring so low, particularly in things like math and science. Do you have any advice on what parents or schools should be doing to get kids more intrigued to up those figures? Because if we want to compete, we got to get a lot better at this. Well, I definitely think getting kids involved in stuff like this from a young age, really opening their minds up to the different opportunities in science and how fun and exciting it can be. Um, I hope that, you know, this Fort Innovate experience brings that to the children in Philadelphia. It's at the Please Touch Museum and it's going to be August 3rd and 4th. And I'm just hoping, you know, after everything with COVID over the last two years and this being one of the first summers where kids can really go out and have amazing experiences like this. I hope that it's something they remember and that it takes them into even, you know, more exciting things for their future. So go check it out in August, early August. Miranda Cosgrove promoting the STEM exhibit at the Please Touch Museum in Fairmount Park. And Miranda, I can't wait to tell my daughter I met you, even if it's through <laughs> TV. <laughs> She'll be impressed. <laughs> Thanks for what you're doing tell and be well. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys. Definitely will. Miranda Cosgrove. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. And people should check that out. I have such great memories with my kids at the Please Touch Museum. Mm -hmm. Like I just have a picture of Rocco as he hit a, a button and a rocket's going and he's just going. <gasps> and when they get bigger, you know, they're too cool for anything. Then they go to the Franklin Institute. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then they touch everything there.